today we'll discuss how can we write PEF statement. We write nutrition diagnosis in PEF format. P stands for problem. And we describe what is nutritional problem. Problem must be related to nutrition. It should not be a medical problem. The second is E. E is actually etiology. What's the cause of this problem? And your etiology should be related to nutrition. Your etiology, your primary etiology should be related to nutrition. It should also should not be related to any medical problem. <coughs> and the last is sign or symptom. Sign and symptom is actually a characteristic that defines your problem. And in sign and symptom, we describe how we came to know about this problem. And how severe is this problem? We write PE statement as in the start we write problem and then we link problem with etiology so specific words related to and we link etiology with sign or symptom specific words evidenced by so we write PS state meaning this format that in start we write problem and then we relate it with etiology through words related to and the etiology is linked with sign and symptoms through specific words evidenced by. Let's take an example. Suppose well, a person has actual body weight 50 kg. His ideal body is uh, usual body weight is 55 kg. His age is 24 years. Gender is male. And height is 5 feet, uh, five feet and 5 inches. According to his dietary history, the person is taking 50% less energy than the recommendations. According to his lab report, his HP level is 10.8. According to the dietary history, person is taking less iron than the requirement. And the person has decreased appetite. So, uh, first we have to find the problem. What is the problem? Here we can see that the person is taking less energy than the recommendation. So, the first problem that we can find here is that is, person is taking less energy, that is inadequate energy intake. That's inadequate energy intake. Now, at the second step, we have to find the sign or symptom that how we came to know that this problem exists. So, what is sign or symptom in this condition? That the person is taking 50% less energy than the recommendation and from the dietary assessment we came to know that the person is taking 50% less energy than the recommendation. That is sign or symptom. That person is taking 50% low energy and recommendation. And what's etiology? What's the cause? Why the person is taking low energy than the recommendation? To a decreased appetite. So what's cause? Decreased appetite. So now we have to write in this format. We uh, actually we find problem that is inadequate energy intake, etiology decreased appetite and sign and symptom that is actually why how do you know how we came to know that this problem occurred that is the 
50% low energy than the recommendation. So let's write it in this format. So uh, inadequate energy intake, that's a problem. Energy intake related to, related to, and we have to write here etiology. Related to decreased appetite and then as evidenced by and finally we have to write how we came to know about this problem that is evidenced by daily caloric intake Fifty percent less than the recommendations. So in this way, we can write the PES statement. Let's take another example. Let's find another problem from the same scenario. So another example is the problem. Except this. Other than this, let's find another problem. That is, the person is losing body weight. His usual body weight is 55 kg and actual body weight is 50 kg. So the person lose 4 kg in last, person lose 5 kg in last 4 weeks. This person lose 5 kg in last 4 weeks. So it's a problem. That is the problem is involuntary involuntary weight loss involuntary weight loss and how we came to know that the person is losing body weight involuntarily what sign of symptom that is the person is losing person lose 5 kg in last 4 weeks person Lose body weight, lose body weight, 5 kg in last 4 weeks. So what's the etiology cause? What's the cause? Because the person is taking less energy, 50% low energy than the recommendation. So that's the etiology. Person is taking 50% low energy then recommendation. So that is the problem etiology and symptom. So now we can write it in this format. P E S statement format. So first we have to write problem that is the involuntary weight loss and then involuntary weight loss related to related to low energy intake related to Low energy intake, then recommendations. Low energy intake, then recommendation. And finally, we have to write sign and symptom as evidenced by as. as evidenced by 5 kg decrease in body weight in last 4 weeks. Okay. Let's take another example. We can make another statement from the same scenario. Another problem that we can find here is that is HP level is 10.8 and person is taking less iron in his diet. So another problem that is problem is nutritional deficiency. That is problem is low person is taking low nutrient iron intake, less iron intake. So we can write the problem is nutritional 
efficiency that is the problem so it's a nutritional efficiency related to you have to find the cause related to what's the cause there because the person is taking low iron in his diet related to low iron intake okay in diet and finally we have to write the sign and symptom or we, how we came to know about this problem as evidenced by low serum hb level low serum hb level so in this way we can write a pes statement so if you have any question related to this uh, pes statement uh, you can ask me in the comment section and thanks for watching see you in the next video